Scorpios, hello, how are you? I'm here to give you your August 2020 general tarot reading, yes. Alrighty then, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Lori Gemini Tarot and I do tarot readings. I'm gonna go ahead and give you not one, but two tarot readings. The first deck I will be using is gonna be the Cosmic Tarot deck, followed by the Moon Power Tarot deck. I'll also be using an Oracle and a Body Positive Affirmation reading as well, so make sure you stick around for the entire video. Please note that this is a general collective tarot reading, okay? Uh, check your sun, moon, and ascending sign. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe channel, and the notification bell so you know when I'm going live and when I'm dropping content, all that fun stuff. And uh, make sure you comment down below if the reading resonates with you, you like the decks, you like what the hell is coming out of my mouth. And if you'd like to book a personal tarot reading in the description box below, it's gonna be a link to my Instagram channel. You can check out my pricing and you can DM me directly to book a tarot reading. So let's go ahead and start throwing cards down for Scorpio. I do have the seven of specimens, which are gonna be cups here. I also have the eight of ray guns, which are gonna be swords, okay. I also see the queen of specimens, okay. I also see the world card. I also see the six of specimens, okay, which are gonna be cups. I also see the hermit card. I do see the knight of ray guns, which are gonna be swords. And one more card, which is going to be the knight of specimens, which are gonna be cups. The overall vibe, the bottom of the deck, for my Scorpios, it will be the three of discs, which are gonna be pentacles here. So there's gonna be a proposition, there's gonna be a business offer, a deal. Uh, there's gonna be a collaboration, a project, a merger. It feels like um, a major conglomerate, okay? This could also be uh, just collaborating with a company or a brand, uh, I'm just gonna use this as an example, like say like Morphe and like Jaclyn Hill, you know, like a collaboration which, or James Charles or whatever. I'm just using it as, a, as an example, but it feels like there's gonna be some endorsement, some sort of um, contract that's gonna be signed. This could also be working with different generations or different groups um, that are kind of out of your element Okay, I'm also seeing a pregnancy. This could also be going through a fertility clinic or there's some sort of surrogate that is going to be, um, that's going to be used. Okay, so I do see two nights, which are great, which is gonna be about a decision. This could be encountering more than one friend, more than one lover, more than one family member. Um, it's gonna be more than one person that comes into your life. So I do have the seven of specimens here, which are gonna be cups. You are very confused right now. And it feels like instead of actually tackling with the issues, with the problems that you're currently dealing with, you are choosing to use drugs, sex, alcohol. There's some sort of vice, some, some sort of addiction. It is something that um, you over dabble in. So this is something that you no longer have control over. It's starting to affect your everyday life. So much so, so that you get stuck in your head, okay? Um, it is leaving you very confused. You feel like you're stuck in like a mental prison, okay? Um, it feels like for a very small percentage of you, there may somebody may have gone to jail. There may have been like a temporary recar uh, uh, like incarceration. Um, I'm also seeing some sort of rehab, rehabilitation program. There could have been an intervention that could have happened with a family member or a friend. It feels like there was a per like a motherly figure, whether it's a mother or a sister. There's some sort of woman figure that is very caring, that is only looking out for your best interest, Scorpio. Um, it feels like you're on, like you or somebody else is like on the verge of a mental breakdown. Uh, somebody is like on the verge of cracking or snapping like a rubber band. And I and I'm just trying to use these words kind of like lightheartedly because the, despite of like the severity of the situation. Um, it feels like you're on your breaking point, okay? 
this could be you or somebody else that you're dealing with. The queen of uh, specimens, which are going to be cups, you could be dealing with a cancer or a Pisces. This is somebody that's going to be very emotional, very intuitive. You could be dealing with a doctor, a counselor, a therapist, a life coach. This could be like a, you know, like physical therapy. Uh, this could also be a rehab, rehabilitation center. I am also seeing somebody like a spiritual, a light worker, or like some sort of guru. Uh, this is somebody that's being very emotional and I'm seeing that you need to open your emotions and explore them out. You know, if you want to get out, if you want to stop being in your head, you need to, you need to express yourself. You need to let out your emotions. And so people are on the same page with you. So people can understand where you're coming from because nobody's not going to know if you, if nobody's not going to know that you need help, if you don't tell people that you need help, um, the world card, there is gonna be something that's ending, okay? So it feels like once you stop getting in your head, it feels like you're distracting your, you're distracting from the issue, all right? And it's driving you crazy because you're not dealing with the issue. So you need to cry that shit out, all right? And you need to express yourself. Then that shit could end. Then it's end for good good. It is not gonna interfere with your life. But the more that you distract yourself and you bottle that shit, the worse that it gets. And then it's harder for you to get out of the situation. Once you express your emotions, okay? And this could be where like a friend zone situation where you could be driving yourself up the motherfucking wall because you or this individual is attracted to you. They want to date you. They want to be with you. But it seems like um, they're tired of being friend zone or they're waiting for you or this other person to notice and they finally come out with it and finally spill the beans, okay? The six of cups here, there is going to be a connection that you're gonna have. Whether it's a friend, a family member, or romantic partnership, this could be a longtime friend that you have not heard from in a long time. Like this could be decades and all the blue, there they come out of the neck of the woods, you know? Like nothing's ever happened, like nothing's missed a beat. You could be dealing with this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay? This could also be you. But there is, a, you will find your soulmate, okay? It feels like some of you are kind of fixating on waiting to find your romantic partner. And really what it is is that you need to do some deep soul searching here, Virgo vibe. You need to seek your own truth to find who is the best partner for you. And you need to figure out why you feel like you need to rely on a person or rely on a romantic partnership in order for, in order for your life to feel complete. And it feels like there is some sort of spiritual work that you need to deal with pertaining to that Scorpio. Um, but you will find your romantic partnership. You will find your soulmate. Um, the truth is there, okay? Because this is Libra Aquarius vibe as well. And your soulmate is right in front of you. The truth is out there, as Mulder would say from X-Files. Now there's two knights here, so this is gonna be moving very quickly into this direction. Uh, this is gonna be encountering more than one friend, okay? So there's gonna be somebody that's gonna be coming back from your past. This could be a friend, this could also be a romantic partnership, okay? Um, and you're having to do some soul searching on whether which partner, whether who you should choose, whether if you wanna go ahead and go along with this relationship or whether if you should be solo, okay? Um, you're gonna hear some very quick news. This could be from an Aquarius. And this is somebody putting the cart in front of the horse. Okay, so this happens very quickly. You have no control over the situation. Okay, followed by the knight of specimens, which are gonna be cups. This is gonna be a romantic partnership. So you're not gonna know what's coming to you, where you're gonna be stuck, confused, in your head. Somebody's gonna finally come out with their truth. They're gonna finally express themselves, finally tell you how they really feel about you. Okay, and the truth is gonna set you free and you have a, a chance to have this real connection with a real soulmate here. And this is gonna come out of, out of nowhere, out of the blue. This could also be more than one person making an offer to you, okay? And you're gonna to have to decide on who is the better partner. So if that resonated, make sure that you comment down below. And if you have more than one person fighting over you, fucking spill the beans i like to know i love to know the dirty details so uh if that reading did not resonate with you i will be using a different deck 
and we'll be doing a reading, which will be the Moon Power Tarot deck. So let me go ahead and mix these cards around for you, Scorpio, because after this reading, I will jump into Oracle and Body Positive Affirmation readings for you. So let me go ahead and mix these cards up for my Scorpios and see what is up with you, Buttercups. I'm going to go ahead and start throwing cards down for you, Scorpio, for August 2020. Okay, so I have, it is the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the Two of Wands. I have the Seven of Cups reverse. I have the Nine of Cups reverse. And I have the Six of Cups reverse. The bottom of the deck, the... Uh, overall vibe I have it is going to be the star card this is going to be an Aquarius vibe you could be dealing with an Aquarius you could have this in your chart this is about healing manifesting all right this is about personal growth so you need to really start doing some shadow work on yourself Scorpio um, this is about discipline and this is about control and if you really want to find your soulmate if you really want to find the love of your life you need to be okay in being in your own skin and being alone if you really want a true partnership okay this requires discipline okay <clears throat> so I do have um, I have two nines here so this is gonna be about a new path okay so this is about you enjoying being independent, being free, being single, counting your coins, enjoying not being on anybody's schedule, enjoying not having to cook for multiple people, cook for cook for one, you know, or if you're just cooking alone or just you and your kid or whatever. Um, you enjoy being, you have, you enjoy your own rhythm. You enjoy not having to wait hand and foot on somebody else. You're very confident, very self-assured. You're very attractive. People want to be you. People want to fuck you. With the two of wands here. There may be a long distance relationship or a fling that you're having with somebody. Um, this could be a long distance job. I am seeing victory and you are moving forward in this energy. Now the seven of cups reverse. Um, you, it feels like you stopped in the dating scene. It felt like you were really confused because you kept on dating, dating, and you were wondering like, why am I continuing to date the same fuck boy or fuck girl? Somebody that is not in the same frequency, somebody that says that they want this, but they don't want this. And you're tired of kind of putting yourself out there. So now you finally have like deleted your, your dating apps and you're kind of taking a step back and you're kind of taking a little break, all right? Cause you're finally getting clear this could also be like finally putting a vice down like you know what i've been smoking way too much pot i need to do like a 30-day cleanse or you know what i feel like i'm drinking a little bit too much alcohol let me go ahead and just cut back just a bit you know uh it feels like there's something that you're cutting back on it feels like it's a vice whether it's overspending whatever the case may be you're cutting back on it the set uh, the nine of cups reverse this feels like you didn't get your wish now it feels like you you know, like you suck when it comes to love and happiness and it feels like nothing goes your way. And that's not the case, okay? You just have to realize is that right now, you have like the wrong focus, all right? You're not in the right headspace. You, you're not in the right element. And you will definitely manifest and put yourself in a really bad position because whatever you manifest, it will come true for better or worse. So, this right now, you need to really focus your time on being alone and just kind of cleansing your energy and really figuring out what you want in your life. Now, the Six of Cups reverse, this is a disappointment because I know you really want that soulmate connection. You really want the love of your life. We all want that, you know. And I know I can speak from my personal experience, and I know because I'm Scorpio writing, was... A few years ago when I was in the dating scene, I kept on being in one bad relationship, one dating situation after another, and it would always blow up in my face. And it was because I was projecting the wrong energy and I was trying to fixate so much on being in a relationship, relying on an individual to make me happy. 
And these are codependency issues, and it feels like you may have some codependency issues. You, like you feel like you rely, you expect somebody to take care of you. Um, you just want that kind of like romance, you know, you want to be that swept away. And you can have that big, you know, you can have the real deal. You can have the whole package. But you really need to take a step back, enjoy being single. You need to really figure out like why you feel the need to be codependent on people and to feel the need to have like an individual to take care of you that you are depending on someone. And you can't depend on anybody because you're setting yourself up for failure when it comes to it. Uh, because at the end of the day, even if the relationship doesn't work out, you have to be okay standing tall and proud on your own, okay? And that's what the deal is at the end of the day. So you're upset that you're not manifesting this relationship, the soulmate connection. You need to really work on you because this is about working on yourself, your personal growth, your self-esteem, and you need to really do some deep healing because you need to start working on all those unresolved issues that's been building up and all that baggage that you have in that corner that you tell all the people to not look over there, that big, that, that huge pile of uh, luggage, you tell like your baggage, don't look at that baggage, right? Okay, so if that reading resonated with you, make sure that you comment down below. I'm gonna go ahead and do an oracle and then a body positive affirmation reading, and then we're gonna go ahead and call it a day, Scorpio. Yes. Okay. So let's see what we have in store for you, Scorpio. So I have a new dawn, music for manifesting, one more card for Scorpio. Ready, set, go. Let's go ahead and get some body positive affirmation readings for you. Okay, so here we go. So I've got ready, set, go. Now is a perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. Music for manifesting. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music, especially with a moon, new moon or a full moon. I like to listen to the Leo King. He's like on YouTube as well. And you know, he plays like house music and it really helps to manifest. And uh, I really enjoy that. A new dawn, the worst is now behind you and a positive new experiences are on the horizon for you, Scorpio. Now here are your body positive affirmations. Now, I can have fat, be fat, and still be fucking magnificent. Today, I will focus on fucking, I will focus on progress and not fucking perfection. I am fucking in love with taking care of my body. My brains, my body, and soul are fucking bomb diggity. My body does not have to be perfect to be fucking awesome. And I do have a beach body. I put on a fucking bathing suit, and there it is. So hopefully these readings resonated with you. If they did, please make sure you comment down below. Hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, make sure you share this video. Thank you, I love you. Please be safe, wash your damn hands, and namaste, bitch.